everybody, I'm Randy from Zephyr's Travels and in this video I'm doing a review of our Rad Power Bikes Rad Minis and we've had these bikes now for a little over six months. We've put over a couple of hundred miles on them and I just want to do a follow-up review from our unboxing and assembly video that we put out when we got them. These bikes are really great. We've really enjoyed having them. We find that the electric assist bikes make it so that we want to ride our bikes more. So you might argue that you're getting less exercise with an electric assist bike, but in reality, if you're not riding the bike, you're not getting any exercise out of it. And we had regular bikes that sat in the basement and never got used. And we get these things out and, and ride them around and enjoy them. When we're at home, we would take them out for evening rides as we travel and we get the opportunity we're at a place for a little while we pull them out of the truck and take them out for rides and really do enjoy having them uh, we have done a few things to the bikes not a lot um, we added this um, it's not a basket but it's a uh, carry-all or a bag to the rear rack to allow us to carry some things it has a spot for a water bottle in it and places we can put our gloves or something, a camera or something we might be taking with us when we ride. Um, we can put the bike key in there and such. And our locks go in there. We did add locks to the bikes that are on the other side that we had, and I used Velcro and just Velcro them to the side of the bike. Um, we added a phone rack here so that we can use that to track our distance riding and our exercise and such. Um, Diane's bike, this is Diane's bike, and it has a camera mount on it, but we really don't use that camera mount that much. Other than that, oh, we've also added the mirrors on each of the bikes, which is really important. I um, highly recommend that you add mirrors to your bike if you get them. These bikes are great. They do fold up very easily. You can just simply pull the lever here and drop the handlebars down. The seat has a quick release on it that can go up and down very easily. They do fold in the middle. We've never really needed to fold them that way. But we do find that if you just put them in this position with the handlebars down, the length on them fit nicely in the bed of our F-150. We have a short bed that's a five and a half foot bed, and that's exactly the full length of these bikes to the point that they compress the tires just slightly when you close the tailgate, which kind of locks them in place. So carrying these bikes have become very easy and with a cap on our truck it allows us to secure them in there and have them locked up so when we're traveling there we know that they're they're um, in a good place you one thing you want to make sure when you do um, bring the bike up you want to make sure that you do lock that and make sure it clicks and locks into place because you don't want the handlebars coming loose while you're riding the bikes are nice they do come with a rear light and this light can be solid or flashing and that runs off of a AA battery and the front light runs off of the main battery. The bikes have a control here that you can set the level of assist that you want between 1 and 5. 1 you hardly notice the assist, 5 will push you right down the highway and you'll find yourself doing 20 miles an hour. So you can find something in the middle. I typically ride between 2 and 3. Diane runs on 3. They are seven speed bike, but you're going to find that you don't really shift gears a lot with these because of the assist. So in one way it makes it a lot simpler because you don't have to hunt for that gear and you don't have the multiple sprockets in the front that do the multiplying that you got to figure out what gear you want to use next. But you do have seven gears here so you can pick a real low gear if you run into a hill and go up and down that hill. They, you can use a throttle control and move the bike, like a mini bike or something, and just use total electric. I find I use that sometimes, a lot of times I use that just to get going on the bike. And Diane doesn't use it at all, and if you're not comfortable with it, I wouldn't suggest you using that. The other things about this bike that we like, the folding aspects, it's, it's important. This pedals do fold. The size is, 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 is uh, was a selling point for us. The large tires are nice because they do help to cushion the ride. You can vary the air pressure in them. Um, you can have them hard and make it easier to pedal. 
or you can soften them up and let them absorb bumps and such. So it really helps there. Reliability, these things have been perfect. We've not had any issues with them. Out of the box, we've never had to adjust anything or anything. I would say the only thing we've noticed is maybe a little bit of squeaking with the brakes where they drag a little bit and, and kind of make a, a bell or a, a ding type noise. But that's about it. Other than that, they've been great. Charge wise, we can go about 40 miles on a single charge, probably 40 to 50. We've never really run them empty. We've run them down and there's a battery indicator on here and it shows, I don't know if it's six indicators or seven indicators. We've never taken it past the last one. So we've taken it down to when there's one indicator left and then we've recharged it and that's typically a little over 40 miles. Zephyr, come here. Don't be in the video. Okay. Hi guys, so you're in the video. Zephyr Monty in the video. So we, we do like these bikes. They're easy to transport around in the back of their truck. They are heavy, they are about 70 pounds, so that's one of the things you wanna be aware of when you um, buy one is they're heavy to lift up if you wanna put them in your truck or whatever. Um, you can take the battery out. There's a key and you can unlock the battery, take the battery out. You can remove the front wheel to lighten them up a little bit, but they're still gonna be, they're still a, a heavy bike and a lot of that is the battery and the motor in the back plus the design of the heavy wheels and such. You do notice that a little bit when you ride, but we found that you know this, the battery assist and such does pick up for that. It makes it quite easy to ride. The step over height, you wanna keep that in mind depending on your height. This is Diane's bike and it's set up for her. And this step over height is probably the max of what she could step over. She's five foot. And this is probably the max of what she can step over. So keep that in mind too when you get one of these. They do now offer a step through bike um, in the 2019. So you may wanna consider that. But overall, we've been very, very satisfied with the bikes and we definitely would buy them again if we were in the market for a, a bike like this. It, Rad seems to put out a very quality product. They are reasonably priced for what you get and you look at the uh, electric assist bikes, you can spend quite a bit of money. These bikes were $1,400 for each of them if you buy two because they gave you a discount. I do believe they have raised their prices since we bought them because of the trade embargo with or the tariffs with China on aluminum. It's, it's raised the price of these bikes a little bit, but you know from that perspective, they're they're still well worth whatever they're charging for these bikes. They're very durable. I think the only complaint I might have on these bikes would be I wish they would give you touch-up paint or have a touch-up paint available. Other than that, I wouldn't change a thing on them and would definitely would buy them again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. When you subscribe, please hit the bell for notifications so you know when we post new videos. We do post a lot of travel videos and campground reviews and, and gear reviews like this. So if you like that type of stuff, you definitely want to subscribe to our channel. We will see you down the road. Thank you very much.